Hey, what's up guys? Today we'll be talking about the Holy Spirit. Why is the Holy Spirit important in the life of a believer? Stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nick Acosta and I want to invite you to grow with me as I grow with God. So let's grow. The first reason why the Holy Spirit is important is he is a teacher. That's right. Jesus said in John 14, 26, that the Holy Spirit will be with us to teach us all things. Not some, but all things. That's why he told his followers. Okay. So as his followers, we can be confident that he will teach us. First John 2, 27 teaches that the anointing that God gave us teaches us all things. There it goes again, that the anointing would teach us everything we need to know. That anointing, guys, is the Holy Spirit, our teacher. Okay, when we read God's word, we can be confident in our growth by trusting that the Holy Spirit will help us understand what we're reading. So trust God when you read his word, trust that he will teach you his word and that he will help you understand in the way that you need to understand to live like a son of God and a follower of Jesus. Number two, he is our comforter. John 14, 26 says that the Holy Spirit is the comforter for believers that the Father sends to us, okay? He's the gift from God to us to be comforted, to be helped, okay? There's nothing that brings comfort to us in times of need like God's peace, God's love, God's wisdom, and promises being reminded to us. The Holy Spirit comforts us in these ways, guys. He reminds us of God's promises and gives us peace. He is one who convicts and corrects. John 16, 8 states that the Holy Spirit convicts of sin, he convicts of righteousness, and he convicts of judgment. Okay, John 16, 13 states that the Holy Spirit will lead us into all truth. Amen. There goes all truth. Okay, we need him. Whenever we make mistakes, whenever we assume and we get the wrong ideas about God's word, about doctrine, the Holy Spirit is always ready to correct us, guys. He's always ready to correct us by guiding us into what's true and righteous. Amen. Okay, here's the next one. He brings God's word to remembrance. John 14, 26 states that the Holy Spirit brings the words and teachings of Jesus Christ to the remembrance of his followers. There have been times where I'm in a conversation, right? I'm, con I'm conversing with someone and before I start speaking and respond to them, I ask the Lord to help me in my response, right? And instead of hearing exact words to say, instead he brings a scripture to remembrance to me like blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy and by that scripture i then remember how to respond to that person according to god's word in mercy right <laughs> so that's just an example um the next one he will speak through us so the holy spirit does we need him because he speaks through us in matthew 10 20 jesus promised his disciples that the spirit of god would speak through them, that they will receive words from the Holy Spirit in the times of need. He stated that they didn't need to worry about the words they will use when they were questioned, when they were persecuted, but that the Holy Spirit will speak right through them. Okay, Holy Spirit, he helps us to pray. Romans 8, 26 declares that the Spirit himself helps us to pray. And verse 27 says that he helps us to pray things that are according to God's will. So we don't need to worry about, oh man, what's he going to help us to pray? God's will. We need him to help us in prayer, guys, because we don't know exactly what to pray for. So we need to be led by God, yes, even in our prayers. We need him even during prayer. He poured the love of God in our hearts. That's another reason we need him. Romans 5, 5 states that the love of God came inside of our hearts because the Holy Spirit put it there for us. Okay? If you want to follow Jesus, you know that you will need to obey his two commandments. Okay? And these two, uh, two commandments are to love God with your everything and to love people, right? To treat people as you want to be treated. We can't love people without God's love in us. So we need the Holy Spirit to love people and to fulfill Christ's commands. Amen? What else do we need the Holy Spirit for? The fruit of the Spirit. Speaking of God's love, the fruit of the Spirit is exactly that. God's love. It's fruit of the Spirit. Not our fruit, but fruit 
of the Spirit. So we need the Holy Spirit to bear His fruit. We need Him to be able to bear good fruit, which is His fruit. Amen. Galatians 5, 22 to 23 describes what these fruit are. Take a look at those verses, guys. Um, if you want to get a better understanding of the fruit of the Spirit. It's crazy when you read it and you're like, wow, the Holy Spirit enables me to bear these fruit, good fruit, much of it, amen? We also need the Holy Spirit for the gifts of the Spirit. It makes sense, right? In 1 Corinthians 12, the diversities of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit and manifestations of the Spirit are described. And these things are given to believers by the Spirit. See, we need the Spirit to walk in these manifestations that, that are listed on here, uh, such as prophecy, such as the working of miracles. Uh, but we cannot produce these supernatural acts, guys, by our own natural abilities. Humans just can't do that. So we need the Holy Spirit for these manifestations in our lives. You can read about all these manifestations of the Spirit of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and also chapter 14, okay? So there you have it. Those were nine biblical strong reasons why we definitely need the Holy Spirit as Christians. I hope this video brought some clarity to you guys, and I'll see you next time. If you want to support this channel, please do so by liking and sharing this video. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel and grow with me. Take care. I'll see you next time.